Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be taking a look at some amazing breakdowns and renders from studios and professional artists from around the world. I think you can learn quite a lot from these, how they light, how they set up things and uh, some new concepts you might not even be familiar with uh, that could be useful in your journey. Let's start with a fun look back from Riot Games showing us some breakdowns and concept art from episode 1 and episode 2. If you are a big fan of this series, you're going to love the untold stories, the cutout scenes and basically a general recap of this series. And if you are 3D artist, you can look at the concept art and how the different scenes were set up, how these amazing renders were created. Every time I want to improve in Blender, I always look at what Houdini artists are doing and try to replicate it in Blender. That's where some of my renders come from. But this render by Oleksil just looks impossible in Blender. He's using multiple solvers to create the effect you're looking at. An MPM solver for the thick mud underneath and a fluid solver to create that gel-like effect and then a power solver which is basically a smoke simulation on top of all of that. Each layer influences the next layer. There are several ways you can do that in Houdini by using volume advection. In Blender we now have something similar called volume advection which allows you to transfer velocities of a smoke simulation or any other simulation into geometry nodes so you can use it to influence other effects you create. Making an effect like this in Houdini is complicated so in Blender it's going to be even more complicated. Next up we have the best collaboration I've ever seen. This is a tutorial made by Glebe Alexander, Dem Nico Art and Mr. Nukes. Everyone with their respective profession they collaborated on this tutorial making this alien creature rendering it specifically in Eevee. I hope to see more of this collaboration on YouTube because you can learn quite a lot in one video from modeling, texturing, lighting and rigging. Next up, we have Max Hay, who has been one of my go-to guys if I want to learn something new in lighting and setting up large environments. His techniques are unique and you can learn quite a lot in one video. I love his single light source setup, which I found to produce the best lighting ever. So if you want to learn some new techniques, he has released a three easy lighting setup tutorial, breaking down some of his best renders. Next up, we have Lina Danilova, who used a combination of Blender, Unreal Engine, Substance Designer, ZBrush, Speed Tree, Quick Saw Mega Scans, and Substance Painter to create this amazing witch hat. Looking at her inspiration board is a great reminder of how seriously you have to take inspiration and references. It seems they're using Speed Tree to generate their own trees for the close up shots to have control of the general look. And the other trees are going to be trees from Mega Scans. The materials are custom using Substance Designer and Substance Painter. And next up we have Lucas Piazin who took third place in the Rampage Rally Challenge created by Clinton Jones. If you told me this was from the original Alita movie, I wouldn't doubt even for a second. He also gave us a great breakdown which you can watch fully on his art session channel. He's using Cascada which is great for animation since it gives you physically accurate poses adjusting the poses depending on the physics of the body. He also created his custom flares in After Effects then did all the compositing in Nuke. Check out the full breakdown in the description. Now this is why Cinema 4D is the best motion graphics software. Look at this render made by Ren. Of course you can still do this in Blender but in Cinema 4D all these tools are available out of the box. You're not installing any add-ons to get this functionality. They are using a lot of cloners and effectors which are basically modifiers in Blender. Thankfully in Blender 5.0 we are starting to see some improvements because they are switching a lot of modifiers to geometry nodes giving us more functionality and control similar to what you see in Cinema 4D. Iron Man 1 kicked off the Marvel Universe as we know it today and also came with some amazing visual effects. Eric does VFX, tried to recreate some of the VFX from that movie and I think he was super successful at it, recreating one of the best shot from the movie where Tony Stark is showing off his new Miso. Check out the whole video on his channel. It's a quick paste tutorial of the things that you have to do. A quick recurring theme of these epic renders or recreation you will see is that Houdini is used almost in every one of them. So if you want to learn Houdini, I have a beginner's course that will take you through the basics so that you can start making your own effects without any limitations. Another great breakdown similar to the Iron Man breakdown is done by Nero Does Stuff. He gave us a blockbuster scene from Spider-Man, creating the animation, rendering, buildings, materials and setup inside Blender, showing us how much a single artist can do in this day and age with free software. And that's all I have for you this week. If you want to see more breakdowns and renders, 
hit subscribe like and let me know what you think see you in the next one you can check out my new add-on loop clothes which is a collection of clothes that are animated and looped you can change the wind speed fit them on your characters move them around with the clothes on and animated and also my everything pack collection which is a collection of my geometry node setups that i've made over time and i'll be adding more to that also my looped clothes now gets some static clothes that are fully textured and i'm adding new clothes every single day these are also going to be available to my patrons and youtube members if you are interested in that thank you and see you next time